I know that I have found my favorite cleansing oil. Easy to use. I don't know what more you can ask for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today in partnership with Numbuzzin. I know that I have found my favorite cleansing oil, finally. My previous favorite cleansing oil from MAC was discontinued and I was on the hunt. And everything that I had tried up until I found out that it was being discontinued just didn't fit the bill. It didn't get the makeup off right. The consistency wasn't right. It just wasn't the same. And then I tried the number one easy peasy cleansing oil from Numbuzzin. And when I say I've tried it, I think you can see that I have tried it. I am already halfway done with my bottle. I have a backup bottle. I don't wanna be without this stuff. Numbuzzin is a K-Beauty brand, and I have talked about them in the past. I did a K-Beauty skincare haul a couple of months ago where I talked about their number one cream and how I had been trying it out and how I had used it and loved it. So the brand is not new to me and it's also not new to y'all because I have mentioned them before and I have tried other products since then from this brand as well. Numbuzzin is super trending right now in the K-Beauty world. I feel like I hear them talked about more and more. So each product has their own number, hence the name Numbuzzin. It's just to simplify the names of the products so that you can say, okay, this is my number one cleansing oil, my number two cleanser, so on and so forth. So it's really just for ease of naming the products versus who uses them and when. I have talked about cleansing oil on my channel for years and years. And I have always talked about how I prefer a cleansing oil to a cleansing balm. That is not to say that I don't have cleansing balms that I love as well. But as a whole, I prefer the texture and the ease of use of an oil. I've also always said for years on my channel that makeup only looks as good as the skin that you put it on. So if I have a budget, 75% of it, I would rather go to skincare and 25% I would rather go to makeup. If it's the other way around, you may not get the results that you want. Now, serums are very important. Moisturizers are very important. Actives are very important, but none of those are gonna matter if you put them on dirty skin. They're not going to be able to penetrate to the best of their ability. They're gonna mix with the dirt, oil, and sebum and everything that you got still left on your face from not properly washing it to not be effective and not give you the results that you want. So I always specify that you should double cleanse, especially at night. I don't necessarily think you need to do it in the morning, but at night, even if you're not wearing makeup, you should be wearing SPF. And in that case, you need a double cleanse. And that's where the cleansing oil comes in as the first step of a double cleanse. The texture is fabulous. It's a little bit thicker than the MAC cleanse off oil, but I don't find that it is hard to remove or leaves any kind of film or anything like that. And it's definitely better than any harsh cleansing products that you could use on your face that could potentially harm your skin barrier. So I'm gonna tell you how I use this. I'm gonna cut away to how I use it as well. Be sure before you wash your face that you always have clean hands. I wash my hands every single time before I start any kind of skincare routine. And I don't want people thinking, well, I'm using soap on my hands. They'll clean themselves as they're cleaning your face. No, just wash your hands, keep them clean, and then take at least two pumps of this. I like to take three. I feel like that's the perfect amount for me. And be sure that your hands are dry and your skin is dry. Cleansing oils and balms are not gonna work as good if they are not applied to dry skin. So I take three pumps of this on dry hands. I apply it to my dry face, fully makeup, <laughs> and just start rubbing it in and dissolving all of that makeup, all of that SPF, all of that dirt and oil from the day. And if you see in the cutaway, I definitely work it around my eyes. I'm gentle around my eyes. I don't put a lot of pressure, but this does not hurt my eyes at all. I don't find that I have blurry vision. I can put this over my eyes, directly open them, and I have no issues whatsoever. If I feel like I have extra amounts of mascara that needs to come off. You can even leave the oil on there for a little bit longer while you work on the rest of your face. And you can even kind of spot rinse your face and leave the oil on for a few minutes before you go in and fully rinse to really help dissolve. 
I don't feel like I need to do that, but in my case, I kind of do it a little bit differently. And if I feel like I still have quite a bit of eye makeup on after that first rinse, I will go back in with maybe half a pump of this and really work it around my eyes again. And in this demo, I did not even have to go in with a separate eye makeup remover that night. Sometimes I do, depending on you know how heavy I went with my mascara and eye makeup. But on this particular night, I didn't. It got every stitch of makeup off. Now, before you rinse it off, you are going to want to emulsify it with water. I'll put up a little clip of how it looks when you put a drop of this in water and you're gonna instantly see it emulsify. That's what it's doing on your skin when you add a little bit of water on your hands, start emulsifying it, and then rinse it off. Again, it's a little bit thicker than the MAC Cleanse Off Oil, but it is definitely not too thick. Certainly doesn't leave a film on my face, which is one of the gripes I have about some Cleanse Off balms. I feel like I just never can rinse them fully off. Not an issue with oils and definitely not an issue with this one. So I feel like Easy Peasy is the perfect name for this Cleanse Off Oil. As you can tell, I love this. I've been talking about it for a while. I've been using it for a while. I have had some comments asking me about it and I've told them that this is what I've been loving. You even saw it in my nighttime skincare routine that I posted a few weeks ago. It's so good. So, so good and so affordable. Definitely another pro in comparison to the Matte Cleanse Off Oil. It is half, if not less than half of what that cost. Now in a good double cleanse, you are always gonna wanna go in after you have cleansed off all of your oil, makeup, SPF, and actually cleanse the skin. And that's where this next product comes in that I have also been loving. And it is the number two deep clean fresh cream cleanser. And I don't know that there is a better name than making sure you put cream cleanser in the name. This is probably the milkiest, creamiest, whip, whippiest, is that even a word? It is now. It's a whipped cream cleanser. It's almost like icing. I'm not kidding. And you need the smallest amount. And this is what I am figuring out about KBD cleansers. And I've mentioned this in the past. I don't feel like I need maybe even a third of what I normally use for cleanser when I am using K-Beauty cleansers or this cleanser specifically. And you'll see how much in the demo that I use. And you'll also see that when I just add a tiny bit of water to my hands after I apply this, how milky it looks going on the skin. It almost looks like a face mask, but it is super hydrating. It does not leave a film. It's easily rinsed off, but because it's so hydrating, you can feel that moisture being retained into your skin once you have rinsed it off. It doesn't leave a tight feeling. You, your skin doesn't feel stripped, but it also feels very clean. And that, to me, as someone with normal to dry skin, that is what I look for in a cleanser. I also think even though that's what I look for with normal to dry skin, this is still gonna work for all skin types. It's not something you leave on your skin. It's not like it's sinking into your pores and leaving you know extra moisture behind. It's just not stripping your skin. So even if you have oily skin, I think you're really going to like this. If you have normal to dry, I know you're really gonna like this. I also wanna point out something pretty important, at least to me. And again, this is something I've touched on in videos in the past. And also on Instagram, if you haven't heard, but I, if you know, am very sensitive to excessive amounts of niacinamide. So when I first started using K-Beauty, I was a little taken back and kind of scared to try too many things at one time because a lot of the products in K-Beauty have niacinamide in them. But I can assure you that no K-Beauty product I have tried in the past six months no matter how many I layer on top of each other, have irritated my skin. And Numbuzzin is no different. They do have niacinamide in a lot of their products. I have no issues with them whatsoever. I love their skin softening serum. I have been using that as my bifida serum step in the morning. I love their number three essence. It's a glow essence and it's beautiful. It has niacinamide in it. Again, I can go straight in with other products that have niacinamide after using that and I have no issue. They have an SPF that I'm going to be talking about if I haven't already in my SPF roundup that I love. I will put a picture of it so you can see it. It is fabulous, especially in these hot summer months because you get absolutely no shine from it whatsoever. So good under makeup. So really everything that I have tried from them, I have liked. And the fact that they are affordable, 
effective, easy to use. I don't know what more you can ask for. So hopefully that was helpful to a lot of y'all who have asked me what my replacement is for my MAC Cleanse Off Oil and are possibly in the market for a new one. I will have everything listed and linked down below. You can get these products on Amazon from the Numbuzzin store. You can get them from their official site. I will have all of that listed below. Let me know if you have any questions. Be looking for these products in my empties very soon because I'm going through them at a very rapid pace. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.